The Supreme Court began hearing the challenges to Karnataka's hijab ban today, nearly six months after the High Court upheld this ban. Senior advocate Sanjay Hegde began arguments for the petitioner before Justices Hemant Gupta and Sidhanshu Dhulia. Earlier this year, the Karnataka government issued a government order asking educational institutions to prescribe a dress code which does not threaten equality, unity and public order. Mr. Hegde argued today that the court does not need to venture into constitutional interpretation in this case. According to him, the issue was far more straightforward. Does the Karnataka Education Act give the state government power to mandate a uniform? He argued that the state government lacks this power. He also reminded the court that context was essential here. The uniform rule, according to him, disadvantaged women by absolutely restricting them from accessing education merely on the basis of their clothing. He also argued that Section 39 of the Act bars the state government from making rules which insult religious sentiments or deny admission on the basis of religion. Justice Dhulia retorted that the hijab might not be a religious garment at all. Justice Dhulia's comment hints at the direction this case is likely to take in the days to come. In the next hearing, advocate Devdat Kamath is expected to argue that wearing the hijab is protected under Article 25 since it is an essential religious practice. The consequence of this argument? If the court is asked to decide if the hijab is an essential religious practice, the case will likely get referred to a nine-judge bench. The Shabri Mala case, where the court must decide what an essential religious practice is, has been pending before a nine-judge bench since 2019. The Karnataka government has refused to file a counter-affidavit in this matter, signalling a possible hands-off approach in this case. Today, they argued that the challenged government order left the decision of allowing the hijab up to the college development committees. The bench, however, was quick to point out that a Karnataka MLA was part of the committee, indicating that the committees are not independent from the government. Two are the developments in the Chief Justice's court today. CGI Lalit and Justice Bhatt reluctantly issued notice in ex-BJP spokesperson Ashwini Kumar Upadhyay's petition asking for the creation of uniform divorce, alimony, succession and inheritance laws. Mr. Upadhyay has his sights set on a uniform civil court. The bench worries that this is a policy concern not fit for the courts to decide. The same bench also slotted hearings in challenges to ED Director Sanjay Mishra's tenure extension for September 19th. Leaders of the Congress and Trinamool have come to argue, have come to court, arguing that dangling extensions before the heads of critical institutions like the CBI and ED endanger their independence.